So just a brief update on how I've been doing. I have had two days back at work um, since my almost 12 week long maternity leave, which is over twice as long as the last maternity leave that I took. So it's been oh, so slow, so leisurely. It's been really, really great, but I'm also so happy to be returning to VIP Kid. I'm happy to have gotten a shirt that fits me now because I don't have a pregnant belly. Um, and I just feel so strong going back into the classroom. One of my biggest fears starting out was that I just would forget what to do. And there was a couple like little hiccups setting up my workspace the first time. I almost forgot to turn on like the extra light that I have and um, that I, I don't use wireless, I use um, ethernet cable, so getting that plugged in in time. A couple little things, but it came back in an instant and teaching was just so natural and was so much fun. And my students, one in particular that I had today was just crazy excited uh, to see me again. It was just really good to feel that excitement in the classroom. Even though I didn't get hardly any sleep last night, it was just waking up to that. It always energizes me so much. And I talked about this in some of my previous videos about why I even teach with VIP Kid. Um, and part of it is like getting yourself out of bed 5am is not always fun, but once you start teaching that class, it's just, I mean, it just takes over. Um, it's like chemically changes your brain and all of a sudden I leave the classroom and I'm just way happier. Um, so, um, what has it been like going back to class? Um, for me, I used to teach three hours, uh, almost every day. Sometimes I take a day off. Um, but I have not been able to commit three hours just because my daughter does not sleep through the night. She doesn't even usually sleep uh, three hour stretches sometimes. Um, so we're still working on a sleep schedule with her. Um, but that means that I really can only commit to an hour so that my husband, if he does have to get up with her, he's not sitting up with her for three hours um, because it's really early to have to do that for him. And he, he often works in the mornings. So I'm back to one hour. And what I've done is I've been in communication with my students for the past 12 weeks um, through WeChat, uh, through e-cards. I would send them periodically through throughout my maternity leave, just kind of remind them like, hey, I'm here, I'm still planning on coming back. And I came back the day I said I would. Um, again, if you watched my previous videos, I mentioned to my parents in my feedback and in my teacher profile um, and on my WeChat account, what day they could expect me back. And that was the day I came back. And I messaged them about a week before saying, hey, I'm gonna be opening up my, my classes soon. And then the day I opened up my schedule, I was like, hey, I opened up my schedule, you can go ahead and book it. Um, but I didn't actually end up having to open up my schedule because I just got 100% priority booking requests from the students that I had before. And that was such a blessing. So now <laughs> I, I'm fully booked and I don't have to open up my schedule ever because I can just accept priority booking requests, um, which that's been, that's been really nice. Uh, and the hardest part actually is having to say no, because I used to teach three hours a day. So I have all of these slots and more that, um, I have multiple students interested in taking those classes and I get several booking requests a day that I just, I cannot teach. I can't say yes to them. Even if it's some students that I absolutely adore, some that I haven't even seen um, since coming back because they only take classes at times that I'm, I cannot teach. And that's, so that's been the most challenging thing, honestly. Uh, some goals that I had made for my maternity leave were to create some more props and that did not happen. Every time I tried to go to the library to do some printing, um, I just, I couldn't, I could not get away for that one, that one thing. I'm, I could have, I'm sure if it had been more of a priority, I could have made it happen, but I didn't. And we're moving in a few weeks actually. So a part of me was like, do I want to make all this stuff to have to move it again soon to a new office? I don't know what it's going to look like. Um, so I chose, there was a choice there. Part of it is a little sad. I wanted to get it done, but also 50% choice. I, I, I let that go. Um, but one thing I did do was recertify, uh, not recertify, certify in three new levels. Um, and that was a lot of fun because I haven't certified anything in a while. And I was going to do more, but then I realized I don't need that many certifications. I'm only teaching an hour a day. And so far, all my classes are still the major course classes that I've been teaching for a while. So I am excited to see what happens with those. It was really good to kind of like 
keep up with ESL and what's happening in the ESL, different learning techniques. It was cool to see some of the different um, videos uh, in the certifications. If you're with VIP Kids, you know what I'm talking about. In the library, they have um, the certifications. They have like clips of what the class will look like. So it was cool to kind of see that. But so far, I haven't, had, I haven't used those certifications yet. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited to try if it, if it comes. But right now, everything is 100% priority booked. Um, and I am still in great contact with my students. I have not seen all of them since coming back yet. I've only had a few slots to actually teach. Uh, so that's, it's been great. And I just, I'm really excited. It's only two days. So if anything changes, I will let you know. Um, but I did want to say one of the best things about this leave and one of the most unexpected things was, uh, just like how much I got out of it personally. I... I started eating better and I'm working out and I'm drinking more and I'm doing my daily devotion like on time every day. I'm taking my vitamins. Like I just, it gave me time to kind of like look at what I really wanted to put back into my own, my own self care, especially when you're taking two, care, take, taking care of two babies. <laughs> um, you really need to make a priority of taking care of yourself as well. So I, I got to kind of reevaluate that before I had to dive back into teaching and I'm now losing another hour of sleep and it would have been stressful. So if you are planning on taking maternity leave and if you have the opportunity to wait to go back, I would actually recommend it. I'm someone who's like itchy to get back to work. I love to move. I love to create, produce, um, and to just like just work really just like be doing something. Like I have to be moving and doing things all, all the time. Um, but this maternity leave really changed that for me. I was really able to kind of like focus and just become more of the mom that I want to be and focus on that part of my life. And it's going to affect every part of my life, including VIP Kid. And I have a lot of water in the morning and I'm drinking that and I'm eating protein in the morning, uh, making sure that I have that so I have the energy for my classes. And there's just, there's different ways that it affects your life. So if you can take an extended leave, I highly recommend it. Um, it's going to be good for your babies and it's going to be good for you as well. And your students will still be there. I have not had any issues with not having um, times times book or having students cancel so far uh, because they've all been requesting to see me. And it's been so good. It's been a blessing. And I really hope that if you are planning a maternity leave or if you've taken one that you have the same or similar experience. And if you do, let me know. Or if you're planning on something, you have any questions, again, send me an email and I am so happy to discuss different options with you.